Hey, my name is Stelix, and today I'm gonna expose two ways that pros use to have lower ping. And I'm not gonna give you bullshit advice like other YouTubers. I'm gonna show you how to actually do it and have lower ping forever. Okay, so for the first step, all you gotta do is write TCP optimizer, then click the first link, then scroll a little bit down until you see TCP optimizer. And just press on it and just press save now you want to right click on the exe file and make sure to run it as administrator okay so all you got to do now is just follow my steps so first of all on connection speed you can drag this and i recommend that you would drag this to the maximum right here then go to the bottom and press on custom and now we're gonna change these settings so window auto tuning should be normal. Window scaling should be disabled. Now on the control provider, we just gotta click this and change it to CTCP. RSS should be enabled. RSC should be enabled as well. TTL should be set to a value of 64. ECN should be disabled. Checksum offloading should be enabled. Chibney offloading should be disabled. And now LSO should be disabled and 1323 should be disabled as well press apply changes and press ok and now it should say you should reboot the device for now i'm gonna say no now let's go to advanced okay here we will need to change a lot of settings so max connections should be 10 and the bottom max connections should also be 10 local priority should be 4 host priority should be 5 dns priority should be 6 and net priority should be 7 syn should be 2 and not stack should be disabled okay now we're gonna go down until we see the initial RTO and it should be 2000. The minimum should be 300. QoS should be 0 and do not use should be optimal 1. Network throttling should be FFFFFF. System responsiveness should be gaming. TCP attack should be disabled. TCP no delay should be enabled. TCP del attacks ticks should be be disabled now press apply changes again and i think we're done here press apply changes press ok and it's gonna ask you if you want to reboot your device and i would definitely say yes tcp optimizer should definitely fix a lot of your issues with ping there's another way that you could get lower ping and it's with services such as no ping and i know a lot of you haven't used services such as no ping but if you haven't tried it yet i would definitely recommend that you would try i've been using no ping over a year now and i can definitely say it's a pretty good company and it definitely helps me with my ping and i know a lot of you will be scared of buying the product without even trying so i have good news if you search up no ping you have a three day free trial that you don't even need to put your credit card in so you can just try for free and see if it's for you and this deal is active from august 29th to october 5th i would definitely recommend that you would try it all you gotta do is go to no ping's website press on try three days for free fill out your information and it should look something like this and then press this button and just download it and using no ping is pretty simple first when you load into no ping you can see your cpu temperature your gpu temperature and how much ram are you using so if you want to optimize fortnite you gotta just click on the search for game then write fortnite press choose server and ai is automatically gonna choose the best server for you for me it's frankfurt 2 and all you gotta do is press optimize game and once you load in fortnite you can see that no ping measures how much ping are you getting and it shows how much ping would you get with no ping and without no ping which i think is a pretty cool feature also no ping has other cool features such as multi-internet you can just click enable it there are a lot of fps boosts which you can just click with one button there are some tools i like for example pro settings which if you click on fortnite you click on the pro and you can just copy their settings audio pads is a pretty cool feature too which basically makes that you could have different sound effects and there's also general settings which you don't really need to change and yeah that's it i hope this video was useful and if it was i would definitely recommend that you watch this video right here i make content just to help you so if it did make sure to watch the video